guys welcome to my channel so today I will be doing a video on I haven't decided what I'm going to call it but um basically it's like how I do my eyeliner with like a bold lip kind of video um, but as you can see there's a number of things that are different in this video um I'm in a new location which is really really fun so I actually haven't filmed a video in like a month and all the videos that you've been seeing were like pre-recorded and edited literally like a month and a half ago um so I haven't filmed in a very long time so I'm kind of like crusty <laughs> and it was it took me a very long time to film this video because I just could not speak today but um I've done it and this is the look and I hope you guys um enjoyed it and you guys will see hopefully a lot more videos um to come but if you'd like to see how i achieve this look then just keep on watching okay hey guys so i'm going to start off by priming my lids with the kiko eye base primer it feels so weird to be filming again but um i'm going to attempt to talk through this and um hopefully I can get through it as quickly as possible so I'm just going to apply that to my ring finger and then just apply on my lids oh and also I've already done my um, brows just to save um, a bit of time because I don't want this video to be too long but I've just I have an eyebrow routine actually if I remember I'll link it in the description box down below I'm just going to let it set a bit because this one um, is kind of wet feeling so you have to wait like a few seconds for it to dry um, and a couple of people have asked like why I do my eyes first I kind of don't know that's just how I've always done my makeup like I do my eyes well I do my brows then my eyes and then my face I guess it's just like personal preference but um, I'm going for a really simple look on the eyes because I just don't feel like doing anything fancy today. So I'm going to be taking the Nutrude palette from The Balm because I haven't used this palette in quite a while so I thought I would put it to some use today. So I'm going to be taking the shade Sexy, which is this shade right here, which is kind of like a... but actually I'm not going to try and describe it because I'm not very good at describing. But I'm going to take the Delium Tools 785 Tapered Blending Brush and I'm just going to put that all over my lid. And also, this is kind of random, but I want to do a QA. and a um, I actually might do a separate video asking you guys to ask me questions, but I thought I'd just add it in here anyway. But I want to do a and a video, like my first ever Q&A, kind of like a get to know me. So um, if you guys have any questions or anything like that, so it can be like YouTube related or personal, not too personal, but personal questions, you guys can obviously answer, not answers. <sighs> You guys can ask those questions um, and then hopefully in maybe next week I will do a Q&A kind of like get to know me video so feel free to ask um, any questions. Okay so once that's done I'm going to take my beloved Meet Matte Nude Palette from The Balm as well and I'm going to take the shade Matte Garcia and that same brush, you could probably use it in like a clean brush but I can't be bothered for all of that so I'm just going to use that same brush and I'm just going to apply that into the crease. And then I want to take Matte Wood which is just like a darker brown and that same brush, again you could use a new brush but there's kind of no need. I'm just going to apply that to my outer corners and then just blend that into the crease. Okay, so that is pretty much it. Actually, I'm going to get another brush and kind of blend out the edges because it's looking kind of harsh. So I'm just going to take the Real Techniques, um, what brand? Oh, I think it's like the, um, is it Crease Brush? I don't know but it's a Real Techniques brush and it just looks like this and I'm just going to blend out the edges. So now I'm actually going to attempt to do my wings liner on camera. I find it so so difficult to do wings liner on camera because I'm like this close to the mirror so I have a mirror in front of me and hopefully I can get it in the frame because some people can, like kind of ask like how I do my wings liner. Um, I'm going to do it slightly different today because I want to do it really thick and hopefully I can get it how I like imagined it to be, if that makes sense. Yeah, so I really want that bold liner look so hopefully I can pull it off today because 
I'm not really confident doing winged liner and um, I feel like it looks a lot easier like when you see other people do it it looks a lot easier than when you try to do it yourself it's like a total mess so for the eyeliner I'm using the Sedona Lace Gel Eyeliner and this is just black standard um, black um, and I'm also going to use the Denim Tools 760 brush which is just a um, eyeliner brush so I'm, I prefer to do the start with the wing and then work my way in rather than in and then working my way out if that makes sense so um, you can also apply like tape if you want to um, to kind of guide you I sometimes do it I sometimes don't but I'm not gonna do it today because I don't know where the tape is so I'm just going to go ahead and start doing the wing so I'm just going to do like a line where I want the wing to start and um, I just use my brow as like a guide so where my brow is is kind of where I want the line to be um, and because I'm doing it quite thick and dramatic I'm gonna slightly bring it higher than I would normally so I hope you guys can see that there's a line there and then I'm just going to get a bit more product and then just start trying to wing it out I feel like I can't really explain it as well as I can demonstrate it so hopefully you guys can see this well So I've just applied mascara and then now I'm going to apply false lashes because right now my eyes are just looking not that great. I feel like lashes really make the look fabulous. <laughs> So I'm just taking the Cherry Blossom Lashes, the 119s. I'm not sure if I like these ones. We'll apply them and see how they look. So I think there's ones that I don't really like because they're a bit too thick, but um, we'll see how this goes. So those are the lashes. I'm probably going to go back and fix it up a bit later because they're not completely dry yet, but I have no patience to wait for them. So I'm just going to go on to the face makeup. So I'm going to first start by priming with the NYX HD Studio Photogenic Primer Base and this is just how it looks. Honestly, I'm not completely, I'm not a complete fan of this. It kind of leaves a white cast on my face, um, which kind of doesn't matter because you obviously apply your foundation, but it just, I don't know, I think I'm just so used to like my professional and like my Smashbox primers that this kind of doesn't give me what I want but I'm using it today because I have it and I want to put it to some use. So I'm just going to pump, I think a pump is fine, oh that's a bit much, it's just like that and I'm just going to dot that on my face and it kind of dries really really quickly so you have to work really fast. Okay, so um, as you can see this primer is just, I don't even know what to even think of it, but um, I'm going. the foundation I'm going to be using is the Becca Luminous Skin Colour, which is an ultra sheer foundation with SPF 25, which is great, because um, obviously it's summer and you need all SPF and all that great stuff. This is in the shade Nuba, I'm going to shake it up because I haven't used it in a while, so I'm not sure what's going to come out of it. but. Um, I'm not sure if I should mix this because it's quite, not light, but because I'm a bit darker because of obviously the weather. I've got white stuff on my hair. And I'm actually going to be using the Beauty Blender, which um, I actually just got. And it's not a generic one because those are the ones that I used to use before. But um, yeah, I got the kit. So it comes with two of these as well as the cleanser. Um, but I gave the cleanser and the other one to my mum. So I just have the sponge. 
and I've wet it and it's obviously nice and big and so I'm just going to pump this on my hand. So again I'm just going to dot this on my face and hopefully this white stuff just goes away. I only like to use this foundation when my skin is doing really good because um, it's very sheer so it kind of, if you don't have I guess semi good skin it will show all your flaws I guess but I thought I'd put it to some use today even though my skin is not doing the most amazing. A couple have asked me to do a skincare routine and I will hopefully do that eventually once I actually have a routine because I kind of just do whatever <laughs> and plus I need to stock up on some products so once I have those I will do that. Do you know what I'm going to do? I want to get a darker foundation because I'm not liking this. Today's just not my day today. Okay, so I'm just going to take the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. Um, this is the shade W10, so it's pretty dark. I'm not going to cream contour today um, like I would normally so I'm just going to take the sleek contour kit and the um, elf not elf um, I forgot what this brand is called um, real techniques that's it real techniques contour brush and I'm just going to contour my face So for blush, I'm going to use the Sleek um, Blush in the shade Sahara and just taking a Real Techniques brush and just applying that to my cheeks. This is probably one of my favourite, I think I've mentioned that like a ton of times but it's probably one of my favourite blushes to use. And then on top of that I'm going to take the Nars Taj Mahal which is like a cult favourite. A lot of people love and rave about this and it's definitely worth raving about. Nars blushes are, well this is my only one, um, but it's amazing. So I'm just applying that on top. And then I'm going to use a liquid lipstick. Well, wait, is it lip, liquid lipstick or is it? Okay, scrap what I just said. Um, but this is just the Sleek Matte Me Lip Cream in the shade Fandigo purple. I'm not sure how I feel about this lip colour quite yet, but this is basically the completed look. I'm just all over the place today. It's so weird, like when you haven't filmed for so long and then you start filming again, it kind of feels like really awkward. <laughs> so um, this was my attempt of doing a talk through video. It was kind of a fail and I need to get my life together, but um I hope you guys enjoyed it um please leave questions because i really want to do a get to know me kind of q a they can be absolutely anything um so f feel free to um ask anything you'd like and if you guys have any video requests also um comment that down below i'm i want to do like a day in the life video when i'm actually doing something interesting but i don't know let me guys let me know what you think um I'm going to stop talking now because I actually can't talk today. But thank you so much for watching. All the products you use will be listed in the description box down below. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye.